Emic has had a big effect on Wabash Valley fairs, but that doesn't mean all of them have been canceled. News 10 Bureau Chief Gary Bryan tells us how the oldest county fair in the state has been doing. Established in 1809, the Knox County Fair is the longest running county fair in the state. Now, COVID-19 shut down many aspects of this year's event. However, the event continued on. It's quiet as you look across the fairground in Bicknell. Safe for a bird or two chirping. If you didn't know better, you might mistake Friday morning as any other day of the year. I guess I just had a few moments that I looked down across the midway and there wasn't nothing there. <laughs> so, I mean, that, that was... That's been kind of different. But in the distance, you'll hear an announcer calling out names. This place, congratulations, is Taylor Hamilton on Green. This is Fair Week. There are no rides. The food booths are closed up, but the 4-H'ers are still hard at work. It's been strange, but as far as the, the kids, uh, parents, everything has went very well. Certain animals are shown on different days. Friday was the horse and pony show. Animals are brought in daily. Each night, the barns are clean, all to make sure everyone stays safe while still showing off their hard work. While 4-H has been nice, everyone knows it's been different. Fair is more than just uh, showing animals. It's, you know, goofing around with your fellow classmates or, you know, other schoolmates from the county schools. But that's unfortunate. We lost all that. But the fair plans to go on stronger in 2021. This year's Knox County Fair officially wraps up Saturday. Working from home in Vincennes, Gary Bryan, News 10.